Yo, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another brand new GTA 5 online money glitch video. Okay, this is a dope glitch because it does not require custom plates. All you guys that are dupe detected or just don't have access to your custom plates, this is the glitch for you. You get a brand new plate on every single dupe. All right, so let me shout out the founders. You got Killer Gaming and Celestial Gaming. Both of their links will be down in the description. Now, what you need is you need a facility. You want to go ahead and throw any Benny's vehicle that you're trying to duplicate, like the LG Retro Custom, which sells for the most. You want that inside the facility. Now, outside your facility, you want to go ahead and call up a Fagio or an RH8 from a garage, okay? You, it needs to be from a garage and not the clubhouse. Now, check it out. You see that plate? That's going to be the plate that will merge onto our brand new dupe. Just remember VHN right there in the beginning or in the middle, all right? So that's going to be our plate that will be merging onto our dupe. We're going to get a, free, a fresh, clean dupe, all right, every single time when we do this glitch. Apart from that, you need a friend, obviously. What your friend can do is go ahead and go into a different targeting mode uh, you know, just join another session and go into a different targeting mode. If you want to use a random friend, you can do that. You know, you got a few options, okay? And you also need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, okay? But your friend, all your friend needs to do is launch up a job for you or be in a different targeting mode, all right? So I'll show you kind of how to do the glitch right here, and I'll explain what the friend can do and what he can't do. Anyways, so what you want to do is go ahead and get ready to exit your facility. Now, on PlayStation, go ahead and join your friend that's in a different targeting mode. Whether it's the friend that's helping you or just a random person, you just need a friend in another targeting mode, go ahead and join him one time so that the alert can come in a little bit quicker the next time, okay? if you, When you join him the first time, it takes a little bit, so deny the alert. Now, you're ready to join him again. So I'm going to hit exit facility, double tap the PS button, go join friend, accept the first alert, sit on the second alert, okay? This is kind of like the god mode glitch I posted uh, earlier, all right? It's kind of using the same beginning steps. Now, on Xbox, you want to just basically spam on join game and then spam to exit and, you know, you'd be accepting the first alert and sitting on the second alert, on the targeting mode. That's why you need a friend in a different targeting mode. But your friend helping you can do that for you. So you need a random person. Just have him join a, a, a session. You know, your friend can literally be in a different session completely, okay, and help you out with the glitch. You do not need to be in the same session, all right? So, at this point now, sit on this alert for, for 30 to 40 seconds, I'd say. Once that time is up, go ahead and decline the alert. When you decline the alert, you're gonna be all glitched out on this screen right here, all right? You're gonna see, it's like the elevator's kinda halfway up, all right? There you go, just like that, once you decline the alert. Elevator's halfway up, you're good to go. Now what you wanna do is have your friend that's in a different session, you know, or he can come into the same session you want, doesn't really matter. I'd recommend just having your friend in a different session. Tell him to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job for you. Doesn't really matter what job, could be a Rockstar created mission, anything. Just have him start up. A Titan of a job is the one we always use, so go ahead and use that. So once your friend has started up a Titan of a job, all you're going to do is just simply join him with whatever method you want. You can join him through the dashboard, you can join him through the players, to, uh, you know, through the pause menu. Either way. So my friend actually came over into this session, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the pause menu and just join them through the players tab. Now remember, these, are the, these steps both work on Xbox and PS4, alright? You can do this in an invite only session. So my friend Chew GTA 5 right now, he is in the same session I am, doesn't need to be, he can be in a different session, it's all good. You just need him so that you can get the alert to join the job and then he's just got to back out, alright? And that's it. So. Right now, he told me he's in the job. I'm just going to simply hit join game. Once again, you could do this through the dashboard. Doesn't matter. I'm going to tell him I got the alert back out of the job. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and accept all the alerts. You should get an unable to connect alert. That's what you want to see. Okay, so he's backed out of the job. I'm going to accept that unable to connect to session. That's because he's obviously no longer in the job. He backed out of it. So that is what you want to see. And now you're glitched out in the facility like this and you can walk around. What you want to go ahead and do, and these controls are a little bit iffy, all right? Like, you might think you're going straight, you know, by holding up on the left stick, but then all of a sudden you'll be walking backwards. You got to get used to it, okay? The, the controls are a little bit wonky. So what you want to do, and these steps are optional, okay? And you'll see, I'll show you later on in the video what you can do if you don't want to do this part, but I recommend doing this just because it will make this next step a little bit easier. So what you want to do is make your way over to the blue circle, which is the vehicle management circle that you can swap cars in, okay? And you'll see why. This will give you a mini-map back once you do this little part. And it's essential to do this if you want the mini-map inside the facility. So I'm just fast-forwarding right here because I was trying to get to the blue circle. I was having a little bit of trouble, but once you get there, you should see the right D-pad option pop up on the, left, on the top left corner of the screen. 
So once you have that right there, there we go, right D-pad, now I can switch vehicles. Make sure to just put your LG Retro Custom in the first slot. Now you, now you want to switch, even, even if it's already in the first slot like you saw me have right there, just go ahead and switch it to number two and then back to number one, okay? And you're going to see why we did that. Now, once you've done that, make your way over to the, your Avenger, all right? I guess the Avenger is optional once again. You know, you don't have to have the Avenger to do this, but it will make having a mini map in the facility much easier, okay? So right now, go ahead and hop into your vehicle or into your Avenger. Once you've done that, it should go invisible, just like this. Now in a second or two, you're gonna get the right D-pad option to modify the vehicle. Go ahead and press circle or B now and hit exit the vehicle, okay? You're gonna see once you do this, you will have a mini map now inside of the facility. So check it out, you see that? I have a mini map right now in the bottom left. So if you, have, if you did the steps just like this and you have a mini map, you wanna go ahead and follow this route that you're gonna see me take over here now as you can see you know walking it's a little weird you know you can definitely hold a or x and you know and tap it to be able to run or sprint a little bit faster you can do that but this will help you i promise you having the mini map right there uh at, later on in the video i'm going to show you that you can actually press pause and you can bring up your map and it will show you that but you have to walk a little bit then press pause walk a little bit run press pause you know it's a little bit more tedious to do it the other way so this way you can force yourself to have a mini map there and as you can see i'm just making my way up the ramp over there on the left side of the facility and i'm basically you're gonna see me pop up on the top left corner where the retro is that's why we want to put your car in the first slot because that's the first one that we see pretty much the easiest one to get to so there's my character right now i'm next to my car you want to go ahead and position yourself next to the driver's side door once you've done that what you're going to be doing is actually pressing Y or triangle to get in. Once your character has touched the door, then you're going to go ahead and hold down on the D-pad and select a story mode character and sit on that alert. So you're going to see me do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit Y or triangle. He's going to start walking towards the door. And right when he's basically opening it, that's when I'm going to be holding down on the D-pad and selecting a story mode character. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I had this step right and could explain it to you thoroughly which is why I kind of took a little bit more time here. But here we go, all right? He is going to press wire triangle any second now, <laughs> okay? Here we go, now I'm holding down on the D-pad. You can see he's gonna open the door, boom, I select a story mode character. Sit on this for about five, six, seven seconds at most. Then what you wanna do is just deny the alert. You're gonna see when you come outside, it's gonna flash inside and then outside, and check it out, you have just merged that plate. Remember I said remember VHN? That's the new plate, all right? That is the plate that was on the Fagio and it is now on your brand new dupe. Now you wanna go ahead and just call up the MOC and what this is gonna do is allow you to save this brand new dupe inside of your MOC so that you can potentially sell this later. Remember, follow the daily sell limit rules and you should be fine, okay? Those of you in the One Car Day Club, I have a video explaining to you you know what to do to try to get out of that just check the link in the description i'll leave it at the end of the video as well but you know plates are a big deal guys if you're going to be duping you definitely want to have custom plates but for this glitch you don't need them so go ahead and press right d-pad doesn't matter what you have in there it won't get overridden it's just going to transfer over to where the fagio or the rh8 came from that you duped over okay whatever vehicle was in there now this vehicle will be saved in here just like that and you've done the glitch all right we've successfully saved a dupe right in here so to rinse and repeat, just go ahead and walk out, head back over to your facility, grab another Fagio or RH8 out from a 10 car garage or any other garage other than the clubhouse, and you're good to go. So let me show you what happens when you don't go to the vehicle management and you try to like do the Avenger thing. It won't work. So if you don't have an Avenger, so check it out. I'm gonna do the right D-pad, I'm gonna exit the vehicle, and look what happens. I actually don't have a mini map after doing that. So this is for people that don't have an Avenger if you can't afford it, say, you know? So don't worry about going to the vehicle management circle. Don't worry about having an Avenger. Uh, once you get glitched out in the facility like this, what you're gonna do is try to make your way over there. Just try to, you know, realize where that ramp is and where you can make your way up the ramp. So what you wanna do is just start walking and then you wanna be pressing pause so that you can actually see yourself on the map so it won't be a mini map but you can see right there if you press pause the map pops up and i can tell i'm right there at the ramp so i'm walking i can see i'm going in a different direction so now i'm just going to kind of turn the stick you know towards a different way and then like i said this part can be very very tedious all right but now that i see i'm facing the right direction and i kind of know which which way to aim my left stick i'm just going to go ahead and do that and i'm actually going to start sprinting a little bit just to get there a bit quicker okay 
So as you can see, I'm pretty close to there. I know I'm going to be seeing myself in the top left. And there you go. See, I was running, and there you go. So like I said, the Avenger part, that's all optional. If you want to do it this way, you can. So get into the vehicle, press wire triangle, hold down on the D-pad, select a story mode character, sit on this alert for five seconds or so, and then just deny the alert. You should you should briefly spawn like under the map or in the facility like you saw there and there we go I have my brand new duplicate with a merge plate save it inside your MOC and you're good to go all right so as you can see right here I wanted to show you this a lot of people start thinking that this stuff is patched when this happens go to your MOC it, you see what it says your MOC isn't empty all right or is not empty if that's happening to you just get out of your vehicle and you'll see you'll be able to request your MOC guys this has been happening for a long time you see now I can request it just get back in now you can go ahead and save it over there, all right? So, pretty simple glitch. I mean, I think the other dupe glitch is a bit easier to do, but this one does not require custom plates, so it's really good for you guys who lost access to them, all right? That's going to be it for me, though. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative Dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. We're almost at 20k, guys. Let's keep it going. Peace out.